Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about mRNA modification, specifically a process called RNA splicing. mRNA modification is also known as post-transcription modification or RNA processing. This is a term to describe the processes that a pre-mRNA or primary transcript goes through to become a mature mRNA molecule that can be translated. In eukaryotes, transcription occurs in the nucleus, where mRNA is synthesized from DNA. This newly made mRNA is called a pre-mRNA or primary transcript. After the post-transcription modification, it becomes a mature mRNA. It can now leave the nucleus for translation so protein can be synthesized. Capping, splicing, and polyadenylation are some examples of mRNA modification. RNA splicing is the removal of sections of the primary transcript. The sections removed are called introns. They are the non-coding sections of an RNA transcript or the DNA encoding it. The nucleotide sequences that remain after the introns are removed are called the exons. These are the sections of DNA or RNA that codes for protein. This is what happens. The primary transcript produced in transcription contains both introns and exons. When RNA splicing occurs, the introns are cut out. The exons are then joined back together, becoming the mature mRNA. You may wonder why introns exist if they have to be removed anyway. Well, the role of introns is still not fully understood. However, we know that some of the DNA's introns can help regulate the activity of genes. It's also allowed a process called alternative splicing. Alternative splicing is the process of selecting different combinations of splice sites within a primary transcript to produce variably spliced mRNAs. It means a given primary transcript molecule can be spliced differently, resulting in different mRNAs being made from the original primary transcript. This allows the production of different proteins when the mRNA is translated. So, one gene can code for several proteins or different forms of the same protein. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.